So we recorded the same album back here. So we battered a few tr tracks with Clemo and one of the tracks that we battered with was Keroro. So Clemo did songs for Sema as we did songs for Calif. So the Calif artist I was given to work with was Nonini. Yeah, and the first song I did with Nonini was Keroro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was our first song. As so, in, I was so tense recording that song because I didn't even know him. We were not friends, you know. I was just told, give this artist a song. So I go, I go back into my folder. That time I've abandoned Fruity Loops. I'm, I'm now into Logic and Nuendo. So I go and I don't know which track do I have. I, I just, I found this loop. <laughs> Hey, I, I found the Keroro loop. Not the, the file, so <laughs> this, was the, this was the Keroro loop. Drum and uh, 808. Hey, that kick was nice. <laughs> that was the riser. Mm. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yeah. yeah, we're recording. So I kill me, 2010. <laughs> that is sick. The, the Keroro loop, the famous Keroro loop. That's one more move. One yeah. Move. Okay, so, there. okay yeah. so now tell us, how was it then now working, creating the jam? I mean, it was, I had not known Nonini. I mean... You had heard his songs while you were watching? I definitely had that, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a stage I skipped, me and Clemo. We were neighbors in Isili. Yeah. Clemo was in Calif. Yeah. in... Now the road is tarmac. That time there was no tarmac. So I would leave. I, I, I used to stay in Ushirika, Clemo in Calif. Like literally 500 meters away. Mm. And Clemo's small bro, Luch, went to school with my brother. So they were classmates. So my bro came and told me, Hey, brother, Luch, pia nafanya, hizi vitu nafanya. Hizi vitu nafanya. So when I walked to Clemo's place, to Luch's place, now I'm like, Ah, I'm record. That time there was no Juakali, there was nothing. Clemo was in Igaton. He was an, was an electrician. He was repairing radios. Yeah. <laughs> Radio repair. So we started chatting. So now that time me, I'm, rec I'm recording in Kofulani, Dandora. So we'll just chat about music. So me, I knew Clemo, but I didn't know Nonini. Mm. I didn't know. I was not friends with Nonini, but I was friends with Clemo. So we'll just sit and chat about the industry. As in, I would go to Clemo's place at maybe two and leave there at ten at night, just chatting about music. Even when they recorded Ruka, he played it for me. But like this is the journey. <laughs> we started the journey. <laughs> what? We started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I ended up at Homeboys. Then, so by the time I was going to Homeboys, Kina Nonini now had the man's in Nairobi. Them now they had started taking off. Caliph had started taking off. But I mean, me and Clemo are friends. And Luch was his brother, the one who used to shoot the videos. Yeah, Luch is Clemo's brother. And then he does the videos, isn't he? Yeah, he used to do all the videos. Yeah, so me and Clemo would just go and talk, talk about production, music, where we are heading. Yeah, it was an interesting time. Do you think you do? You, do you think now you're where you thought you'd be? Remember Not those yet. Uh, 
I mean, partly yes, but you see also as 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 your career grows, you start to see other opportunities. So definitely some milestones have achieved, but over the years also new milestones have also come up. Like for me, I personally believe I'm in the last 10 years of my career. Mm. Oh yeah, in the next 10 years I will be doing this. My kids will be old enough to take over. I would have I want to leave I mean the business in a position where by they can run it themselves. Yeah, and just venture into other things. Mm, that's sad. Yeah. So but no, it's not sad, hobby, but also you hobby, see hobby, hobby. As, as you grow so i mean like yeah. nowadays you tell me to spend like i'm finding it very difficult to sit down to write music now mm. not because i don't have the time but because there are other opportunities i'm pursuing that have a more impact in my future life mm. as compared to what music can do now right now I'm, i still can do music i enjoy doing it like we just come from a recording session in mombasa for the last one week and for me that is something that is working mm. so i prefer we just go sit somewhere hammer all the songs and right now for me as i said i like working on project basis this thing of come pay go mm. for me don't work because i need to understand your psyche i need to i need to be in the zone i need to know what are we doing for this song so that's why for me my career i've been bunched in groups like you're the guy who did for fulani you're the guy who did p unit you're the guy who did sema you know for me that it works like that you know and like other producers oh you mefanya huyu mefanya huyu mefanya huyu for me that didn't cut it mm. you no know, yeah i <laughs> it didn't work but what about in today's musicians and not too many people do projects it's a single yeah. generation which is in fact let's talk about you and nameless <laughs> tell me <laughs> you working working what have you worked with nameless with? I mean I started working with Nameless in 2006. Unfortunately the only song that has ever been released is for Ahide. So you're saying that you've recorded a couple of songs yeah, with Nameless. We've recorded a f- couple of songs, but you see it, it's just how Nameless works. It's who he is, it's where he is in his career. So I mean it's it's interesting how you how he how he does his stuff. How many songs did you say you've recorded? About 4. Done about f- four songs with Nameless. But only one has ever <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that one was the collab with, with Nonini. Nonini. Was, was it okay in fact how is it Nameless who came to you or Nonini who brought Nameless? Nonini Nameless came first. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know what to do with his music at that time. So when Nonini approached me I told him, "Hey, I've started a song with Nameless. Can we use Nameless for this chorus?" Because the original chorus I'm the one who sang it. In fact, Nonini has posted a video on YouTube with that. You you can and download it I, i need to download that video and keep a copy <laughs> yeah so that was before nameless now came and recorded the parts so kiroro yeah. okay so okay the fact let's so we go back to we go, go, no, no, nini. let's go back to no, nini and then go connect yeah. it yeah yeah so i mean we did kiroro i mean i was like yeah it's no nini it's clemo songs whatever you know this we just do it we give them a song and move on they give another song we give them a song so we are we are we are square so but that was our beginning of our relationship and friendship with nonini yeah because i i think that song was so big for him mm-hmm. and it made him leave caliph <laughs> 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 that was nonini's big as in that song was a monster it was mm-hmm. it grew legs in, in a way that i didn't even expect it to mm-hmm. yeah so like i remember fast forward to p unit when we did carry we were like now we've done the best song ever then you guy comes yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. you always think that you've had done your biggest song then another song just comes that is way bigger than what you thought you had done and, non, and nonini eh, that's that nonini now's exit from caliph just yeah. tell us just break that story down because it's always been <laughs> <laughs> We've never really <laughs> known. Test. Did you on Genge? What's the word? No, I mean, I don't, honestly, because I was not tight with Nonini initially. So even when he left Caliph, it's not that he came and told me he left Caliph. Mm. Nonini just brought his album to me and like, by the way, Siko Caliph. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> so what do we do? Now aki album yangu next. So not how we produce. That's how it's that conversation. I've never bothered to inquire 
we are not that close enough to mm. disclose some yeah. information and even years later I've never I've, I never even asked Clemo what happened. I was like it's their own personal stuff, nobody abused the other. <laughs> I didn't see any beef on online. <laughs> there was no online anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It was not breaking news. So which album on the news did you produce Godfather? Mushwa Mawazo. Oh so ah oh man that's the second so you the second with, album mm. which are now had Friday. Mm. Yeah, those it had Friday in Gomania done with Juma Nature. Mm. Yeah. So that was the album now I started. 